Pioneers. Happy Friday. Today is Friday, February 19th, 2021. It's sports day and we are so excited to be with you here today. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Remove hats, caps, hoods, anything else that might be on your head. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Stay on your feet and let's sing along to our school song with Mr. Riley. Oh, the party. everybody awesome job mr riley and here we go with announcements kids we are so excited to tell you that you did such a terrific job with the kids heart challenge next monday is the final assembly to really share how well everybody did so students in tk kindergarten first and second grade your assembly is at 11 o'clock and your teacher is going to share a link with you kiddos in third fourth and fifth your assembly is at 10 a.m. and your teacher is going to share a link with you. So make sure you take time on Monday to go to the Kids Heart Challenge Assembly and hear from Taylor how well you did and how much of a difference you're going to be making for the American Heart Association. Thank you, everybody. We also want to announce that the February challenge continues. We are here in the last week of February and we cannot wait to see which kiddos met the challenge. So two weeks ago, we told you that we were gonna to announce today what the raffle prize is. So drum roll, please. We are going to be choosing one winner from each grade level and they are gonna win a gaming headset. Ooh. Over the ears, mic, it's got a little rainbow on the seat. It's amazing. And it's gonna make learning and gaming so much fun. So mm. make sure you meet the February challenge. We've got one week left. And we want as many kids in that raffle as possible. So work on that. We also told you we'd tell you what would happen if 250 students met the challenge this month. And if we can get at least 250 students from across the school to meet the challenge, Mr. Ba uh, Mrs. Bell, no, Mr. Graniel and I are going to be getting iced with buckets of ice over our heads at Flag Salute on the 5th. So I kind of hope it doesn't happen because that sounds really freezing cold, but I also hope it does because I know you can do it. So come on kiddos, you're working for your headsets, your certificates, your food coupons, an exclusive virtual background. Everybody who meets the challenge is gonna be invited to a grade level dance and karaoke party with this very crew who doesn't wanna be there. And of course you will have done something amazing for yourself. And that is the most important thing of all. So get your, you know, kick it into high gear. Make sure that you are ready to meet the February challenge. All right, that's all I have for today. I'm gonna pass it off to Mr. Graniel. All right, boys and girls. Last time, we haven't seen each other in two weeks. And we have a winner from last month's Decades Day. So ready, the class with the most amazing Decades Day pictures are, is Mrs. Tina Payne's class. Great job, Ms. Payne. Now, for today, as you can see in our backgrounds and in my shirts, yes, 
it is sports day. So on Seesaw, take a picture wearing your favorite jersey or showing off your favorite sports and put those pictures on Seesaw. All right, so next I'm gonna pass it on to Mrs. Jessica. Hello friends, it's so good to be here with you today. I wanna to thank all the parents that joined me last week with a coffee with the counselor, social worker. It was a great turnout. Um, it was a great conversation, but guess what? If you missed it, don't worry. I recorded it and I put it on a s'more that we'll be pushing out in the parent planner this week. Thank you, Ms. Sherry. Good morning, Pioneers. Happy Friday. I just have a few announcements. First off, um, next Thursday and Friday, there will be no lunch bunch. So that will affect third, fourth, fifth grades, as well as Mrs. Martell and Mrs. Peterson's class. So I'm sorry about that, but we'll resume the following week. So February 25th and 26th, no lunch bunch. Also, I wanted to let you know that March 8th will be, I will be hosting a fun activity related to coping skills, which is the theme for the month. So if you come to Friendship Room on March 8th, your name will be entered into a raffle to win something special. So I hope to see you all there. Have a great weekend, Pioneers. Now off to Mrs. Bauk. Hello, Pioneers. All right, it's birthday time. Okay, hands together. Here we go. Celebrating their birthday today, Friday, February 19th. In Mrs. Soto Hernandez class, we have Nishant Pothere. In Mr. Mauer's class, we have Eli Hernandez. And in Mrs. Maravado's class, we have Sanvi Gotham. Celebrating their birthday on the 21st of February in Mrs. Justiani's class, we have Isabella Solis. And we have Mrs. Burnett's birthday. Happy birthday. In Mr. Maurer's class on the 23rd, we have Valerie Lacko. On the 24th, in Mrs. Kiefer's class, we have Catherine Minter. And in Mrs. Justiani's class, Isabel Bautista. Happy birthday, everybody. Okay, so here's our joke for the day. Remote learning theme. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> what room can a student never remote learn from? Hmm. A mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mrs. Beck, you never let us down. That's a good one. I wasn't sure what room we were going to be talking about. So <laughs> thank you for that. All right, guys, it is time for Student of the Week. Get your hands up and let's get ready to celebrate these students. First up from Mrs. Smith's class, Julian Lenegro. Julian is a conscientious student. He's great at being a problem solver. He is a friend to all. From Mrs. Dickey's class, Grayson Rojas. Grayson comes to class with a smile. He works hard to focus and listen during large and small groups. From Miss Marabato's class, Azarian Smith. Azarian has done an awesome job of coming in on time to class and he's always prepared to learn with his materials ready. From Mrs. Martell's class, Olivia Hines and Darren Marino. Olivia is an artist. She uses all the colors in her drawings and loves to learn. Darren is a superstar at writing. His penmanship is immaculate and he knows all of his sight words. From Mrs. Peterson's class, Megan Yang and Amelia Duenas. Megan is a new student and she has jumped right in and she is ready to start learning to read. Emilio is also new and he also jumped right in and he has already made 23 new friends. Great job, guys. In first grade from Mrs. Krakowski's class, Gabby Gutierrez. Gabby works super hard every day in order to get all of her work done. Gabby never misses her meetings and she always participates. From Mrs. Hooten's class, Cash Russell. Cash made and participated in all of his Zoom meetings last week. He is working hard and getting all of his work done. From Mrs. Justiani's class, Aaliyah Wagner. 
Aaliyah is such a sweet girl. She comes to all of our meets on time and is ready to work. She has a great big heart and an infectious smile that makes others feel good. From Mrs. Schlemmer's class, Maple Moyer. Maple is a super reader. She is working very hard with all of her reading strategies and she has grown into such a wonderful reader. From Mrs. Simon's class, Brian Cardenas. This amazing firstie shows up to every meeting on time and is prepared to learn. Yahoo! Way to go, Brian. In, oh, I don't know what happened here, friends. I am so sorry, let me pop it on over. From Mr. Max class, Isabella Unicorn McToto. There are no problems to make or questions too little to keep Isabella interested and thriving in school. Awesome job, Isabella. Next up from Mrs. Ayers and Mrs. Fullerton, Braylon Lampkin. Braylon always has a positive attitude, tries his hardest even when things are tough, and is an active participant in class. Great job, Braylon. From Ms. Camacho's class, Isabella Lopez. Isabella is doing a great job in distance learning. She shows up early to all of her Zooms, and we are very proud of how responsible she is in getting her work done. From Mrs. Miles and Mrs. Garcia's class, Alex Peru. Alex has had amazing attendance and participation all year. He works hard to complete all of his assignments. From Mrs. Walton's class, Ethan Muse. Ethan has been working hard to be attentive and listening in all of the Zooms. He has also been doing neat and careful work when completing his daily assignments. In Mrs. White's class, Tanvi Parmar. Tanvi works diligently to complete all of her assignments. She is always willing to participate in class and she is a good friend to everyone. In third grade, Mrs. Allison and Mrs. Hamilton's class, Jaden and Daya, and Charlotte Jacobs. Jaden has been working hard on getting work done and making sure all of his apps and clever are completed. Charlotte shows up to meets with her camera on and participates with a smile. Keep up the great work, you two. From Mr. Maurer's class, Kualei Kenyatta. Kualei comes to our meetings with a great attitude. She always keeps her camera on and shares her understanding by participating in class discussions. From Mrs. Payne's class, Ava Barreto. Give it up for Ava. Team 26 recognizes Ava for being nice to others online, working hard to complete her work, encouraging others to do their best, and for being a good listener. From Mr. Riley's class, Annika Larson. Since joining our class in early January, Annika has worked so hard and come so far already. Her dedication and responsibility are amazing. From Mrs. Slokowski's class, Jack Mueller. Jack is a model online learning pioneer. He consistently completes all of his assignments, attends the Google Meets, and gives awesome effort. In fourth grade from Mrs. Keeper's class, Logan Katz. Logan is on a roll this semester and we are so proud of him. He comes to meets, participates in discussions, and works hard to complete daily assignments. In Mrs. Subin Lassie's class, Damian Mendoza. Damian participates in small group discussions and works very hard on completing class assignments. From Mrs. Udell's class, Patrick Garrett. Patrick has been making an effort to attend his learning hub and Zoom meetings, participate, and have a positive attitude. Keep it up, Patrick. From Mr. York's class, Marianne Salazar. Marianne has shown excellent effort in all subjects. She showed strong reading comprehension and communication skills. She shares thoughtful inferences and conclusions during class discussions. From Mrs. Young's class, Angela Gutierrez. Angela worked so hard while learning long division. She stuck with it and kept practicing until she became more confident. We are so proud of your perseverance. In fifth grade from Ms. Budwine's class, Adora Levine. Adora has done an amazing job on the Fractions unit. She is a Fractions star. From Mrs. Elias's class, Austin Campbell and Andrew Cardenas. Austin and Andrew are both great participants in class discussions and work hard in small group. They are both incredibly kind and polite classmates. From Mr. Fox's class, Alex Manger. Alex shows up each and every day ready to go. She always puts her best effort into every assignment. 
from Mrs. Soto Hernandez's class, Caston Rose. Caston has a great sense of humor and always shares his thoughts and insights in the Zoom meetings. He's been putting extra effort into all of his work and it is pay it off. Nice job, Caston. In Mr. Lazo's class, Dominic Melendez. Dominic did amazing in hubs and he was awesome at participating in class discussions and answering questions this week. And last but not least from Mrs. Mannion, Natalie Videlas Velasquez and Hector Bobanco. Natalie and Hector are extremely focused and ready to read to learn. We are so proud of their effort and determination in reading groups. Those are all of our students of the week. Let's hear it. Round of applause for all of our hardworking kiddos. All right, guys, I'm going to pass it back to Mr. Graniel to close us up today. All right, boys and girls. So we just had a long weekend celebrating President's Day, but February is also a very big month because it is African American History Month. So to close us off, we are going to be sharing the Black National Anthem. So many people are surprised to learn that Lift Every Voice and Sing was first written as a poem created by James Weldon Johnson and soon adopted by the NAACP or National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. It's its official song. So today, Lift Every Voice and Sing is one of the most cherished songs of the African-American civil rights movement. And it is often referred to as the National Black Anthem. So we are gonna close it off with the National Black Anthem and have a great weekend, Pioneers, and we are so glad to have you back.